Such beauty in the midst of nothingness. There, huh? their traditions. What the hell does that even mean? Screw them and their backward ways. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hasanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. You're a smart one. If you can just tell Elias or whoever that you didn't find anything, I'd be very thankful. So you sold three pickups today? Yeah. Might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you need to wait for the contract to be signed? <laughs> this ain't the UC. We shook hands and the deal's done. Should have the contract signed tomorrow. My cousin works for Deimos, and he says the approval process for a big deal can take months. That's life under the boot for you. Business keeps going this good, and it'll make dealing with these pretentious corn jerks worth it. You've done me a good turn, and there goes one of the few good... I'll take Aggies over the rock around. any day. Who wants to get drunk when there's rangers all around?
private sector. Old Sahar was so sad near the end. But her lawyer would have surely... Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hassanov business rather than getting hurt. Ah, hell. Pardon the language. I knew it was a long shot. Well, you risked your neck and I couldn't let you go away empty-handed. Thank you. <sighs> Aquila City truly is the... A genuine pleasure talking to you. keep my eye on you. Is it? Or are you just saying that? See? I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made-up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me. So it's official. I watch people and listen to them. If I hear something about smuggling or Aurora or gangs, I tell the rangers, it's easy, because no one pays attention to kids. Plus, I know a lot of good hiding places all over the city. That's right, she's a senior ranger, which means she's in charge of me and all the other rangers. Well, except Diego, because he's a senior ranger too. Oh, and the marshal, he's in charge of all the rangers. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. Gotta prepare the next generation, cause I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? My list of people who might be troublemakers, so I have to wash them extra close. You don't wanna be on my list. That's the right answer. I just hope you mean it. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. And ranger surveillance assistants. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. I was doing my ranger patrol one night, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo Arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Smith, and he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. Exactly. This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights, but like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. We did all the things. Crime scene investigated. Witnesses interviewed. And suspect tailed. Very thorough and quite impressive. I followed the suspect all day. He had no idea. 
Emily caught him opening the side door one night. That's when we knew for sure we have an actual criminal here. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure he's there around midnight. We need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. We can't let him get away with it. I'm doing just great. I'm following up on a lead. Well, more like a hunch. A ranger surveillance assistant's work is never done. I have a notebook full of it. The city is crawling with litterers. And some people use very bad words. Mom says it's not a crime. But anytime I say something, I get grounded. So I keep my eye on it. If you see anything fishy, come grab me. I'm so screwed. What? Uh, shit. I, uh, yeah? I, I won't. Oh, God. This can't be happening. Oh, God, no. Security. Uh, how did you... Don't anybody move. Let's see. If it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? Who would have thunk it, right? I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. And, uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. Annie, you're supposed to be doing your homework. Mom, I have to know. You've got him, right? Right? I knew it! Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I... She's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? I can't believe it. Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. Thanks for all your help on the way. You keep doing good out there. Excuse me. Ow, no. Aquila's keep really up the good work. The free star collector. Well, hey there.
Oh, the wall. It's brewed in the city, and it ain't bad. How they? <clears throat> so, Henry's new batch. How'd it go over? I know you like Henry, but... What? There's something wrong? Sam said it tasted off. Really off. Gladys said it was fine. Then she dumped her whole glass on the floor when she thought I wasn't looking. No, oh, no. I don't think we should carry Henry's stuff anymore. Our regulars have stopped ordering his old stuff, too. Uh, I'll break the news to Henry. Welcome to the Stone Root Inn, one of Aquila City's oldest and proudest establishments. What can I do for you? There certainly is. My family's owned and operated this place going back generations. Why, the Stone Root's been around so long, it's even older than Midtown, and that's saying something. Aquila City folk value legacy and tradition deeply, and by running this, I get to be part of that. Just let me know if anything looks good. Work hard, play hard. Eloise that should be the free place star running, model. and I guess Hello. I keep her running. Or at least I keep her sane. The mayor's not right. Always painting two roads.
books to read in so little time. Intelliweight is revolutionary. Why waste time with brewing when you can do so much good and make so many more credits? A good business person shouldn't let their personal attachments become an obstacle to success. Something happened to Henry's beer? That's terrible. So terrible. But I'm sure I know nothing about it. Here's some credits for delivering the news. I expect that's the last I'll be seeing of you. We only use robots for farming. Surely some of that tech we could... If you can talk sense into Henry, I'd be forever in your debt. the Stone Road Inn disaster. could make for a very good home. Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zoned for commercial use? <laughs> this isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, do what you like. We're still waiting on the loan from Galbank. Now, I must warn you, ma'am, that Oak and Aquila are very particular about doing business with the UC. When they see our prices, I'm sure they'll come around. As you said. They sure run things differently than the UC. Really different. Uh, no way. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Welcome to Aquila City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. If so, then look no further. In the heart of the Free Star Collective, who wouldn't? I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? It's an unfurnished one bedroom, lots of space. It's a very convenient location, just a block or so from Co Plaza. Are you interested? Excellent, most excellent. With the funds transferred, you can take possession immediately. I wish you good fortune in your new home. I'm the best realtor in town, if I don't say so. It was a pleasure talking with you. If you are ever looking to buy property, remember- Wait, before you go. My instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Excellent. There are so many in the stretch living in terrible conditions. 
The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. I love my job. So many memories of happy homeowners building new lives. Have a great day. not to point that thing at me. If I get called on one more drunk and disorderly. Ranger? Take a look around. It's a good bet I've got something you need. <sighs> Exhausted, more like. It's just me running things here. Makes for some real long work days. Of course, that's in addition to the special orders, trade contracts, and supply arrangements that I deal with on a daily basis. I also work with the Council of Governors, the Trade Authority, the Freestar Rangers, you name it. Feels like I'm providing a service to the city while trying to run a business. So yeah, I don't get a lot of sleep. Feel free. I'm proud to say this is Aquila City's newest establishment. Um, excuse me? Is your ship in need of a doctor? <laughs> or a botanist? I might be able to help. Wait! Where are you going? Hello there. That is one way to end a conversation. Welcome to the Hitchin Post. We just opened, so it's great to have you here. Yeah, that's right. Been scraping together the money for months now. Got some help from my girl Alejandra, too, but not as much as everyone's saying. I swear half the people in the city think I'm freeloading off her, which really burns me up, you know? Anyway, that's probably more than you wanted to hear. Let me know if there's anything else you need, yeah? What do you have?
We need to find Aaron, or at least information about him. There are. Looks like the Marshal's run of keeping Galbank safe is broken. I'm sure he won't let it happen again. In a word, heirlooms. Some of the old families, those descended from the city founders, store objects of value here. Yes, we've got items in our vault that have been passed down from generation to generation. I like to think that the entire heritage of Aquila City is stored right here for safekeeping. Uh, and me? Well, I'm the protector of that heritage. <laughs> well, not as much as we used to. Ever since Marshal Blake took charge of the Rangers, well, <laughs> things have been a lot quieter. There was a time those lock gang boys would be in here so often, we used to joke they ought to just open accounts. Gotta hand it to Marshal Blake, though. He's really got them on the run. But one thing I can say is I've never been a hostage before, and well, I think I've had my fill of that for a while. Thank you for your business. If you're looking for a weapon, I've got you covered. You turn out to be a troublemaker, though. And I'll report you real quick. Got it? Outlaws, Ashta, those bandits from the Shaw Gang. This can be a dangerous place. Best to carry a reliable piece. More than a few, yeah. Unless you're up in the core, life around here ain't easy. Folks can find their way into all kinds of trouble. I've had no end of desperate souls come through that door in search of a way out. I know it ain't technically my fault when someone buys one of my guns and starts shooting up the town, but I still don't feel great about it. Hopefully you ain't one of those kind. You seem all right. Here's my selection. reassuring to see that corporate mediocrity has wormed its way into every corner of the civil systems. Welcome to Chunks, home of the best Chunks in the settled systems. I just serve the Chunks, I don't make them. I just serve the Chunks. Great, what can I get for you? have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Very well. People are proud of their history here, so we get more visitors than I was expecting. 
it gets pretty busy here, especially with school field trips. Aquila City was founded over 150 years ago by Solomon Coe, a scientist and explorer from Earth. Along with other settlers, Coe built the structures you see in the part of the city we call the core. Those proud buildings still stand today. The planet was dangerous, so they built a wall around their settlement. Eventually, they ran out of space and started building outside the wall. There were so many buildings that they had to build another larger wall, forming a second outer ring around the growing city. Of course, the city didn't stop growing, and before long, the third wall, the outer wall you see today, was constructed. Today, Aquila City is the proud capital of the Free Star Collective, and the Council of Governors continues to meet here when they need to. Most people know Solomon Coe as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Free Star Collective. He was an astrophysicist who lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming. Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Later in life, he designed starships, and when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. The bravery and heroism it took to save humanity. Whew, goosebumps. During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name too. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally. But I would pay a lot for. You see, the Coe family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago, and those documents would be priceless to have here. Well, all of them were owned by our city's founder, Solomon Coe. He's more than that, really. He's one of the greatest heroes of the settled systems. These documents would be, like I said, priceless to the museum and to our guests. Their absence pains me. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was... a troubled man. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Thank you. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. Let me see. Magnificent. These are Solomon's calculations that he used to do his first solo grav jump here. The data he gathered himself from his telescope in Wyoming. On Earth. Priceless. Oh dear lord. It's real. It, it still exists. This is the original charter for Aquila City. And you can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core philosophy of limited government and inalienable rights, all here. Thank you. If you find anything else, please come back. If you ever want to learn more history, please visit. in Akira City. Sorry, we are still getting this place set up.
Feel free to read. If you ever find an old earth printing of City of God, I have been looking for it for ages. I am a bit of an aficionado of old earth novels. Well, truth be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for, you know, the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that, except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. Oh, oh, nothing wrong at all. When colonists were forced to leave Earth for good, cargo space was precious. And for some reason, everyone thought to bring their Charles Dickens collection. No, no, I mean, I mean, he was an amazing writer. His stories are timeless. But what I give for a copy of Sense and Sensibility, or the Three Musketeers, oh! The original Three Musketeers, mind you, not the dozens of interpretations of it. Who doesn't? Movies, slates, theater, all have their appeal, but books, you can get a window to mankind in its earliest days. Whether adventure with Homer, or the actual thoughts of Julius Caesar penned in his own hands. And they offer visions of the future and wonderfully impossible things and might have been. So, yeah, I do like books. Yes, I had a husband, but he's no longer with us. We loved to travel, and always we'd be looking for rare books. Most of what you see here are mementos. It's sometimes hard to sell, but books are not meant to be hoarded. They're meant to be shared and spark something in us. Oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing you have I don't have or am interested in. Sorry. Happily. The stretch housing project has many people volunteering labor and materials. Excuse me, but I have preparations to make for the next Council of Governors meeting. They are the ruling body of the Freestar Collective. Mainly, the local governments take care of themselves, but when we need to act together, the Council steps in. The only member in Aquila City right now is Elias Cartwright. This is the official consulate of Aquila City. Any visiting dignitaries from the United Colonies, or uh, House Varun, reside here. We also handle official communication with them as well. Just My cousin's thinking of joining way. the militia. Good for them. Ah, but I worry about her. The vets of the colony war. A lot of them came home and just... The same. Colony war. But with the armistice, if there is another war, hopefully it won't be like that. You think... You think there will be? No. Or at least the Freestar Collective won't start it. Only the UC is stupid enough to do that. I 
really like it here. I just wish the people in the city were. Everyone gets to say they work at the rock. It's really an honor to be able to help out. Sick or hurt, I've been helping out my mom with doctor stuff. It's hard sometimes, but I can't. Looking for a sidearm? I recommend Laredo's firearm pack. Right here. There's not enough to do around here. You need all sorts of people. Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to Terra. Certainly. Please. united in a great fellowship, you and I. Not at all. We don't do that. Well, most of us don't. We prefer to let people find their own way to us, if that's the right path for them. I'm not here to make a sales pitch, just to inform and share. Having said all that, the Enlightened are always happy to welcome new members into our fellowship. Ah, I'm asked this question more than any other. I'll do my best to explain. While we're different individuals, you and I are also members of a common species and a shared society. It's those bonds that make our growth and evolution as a people possible, both spiritually and intellectually. Together, we can share our burdens, learn from one another, 
and enrich each other's lives. In unity, we find both solace and strength. <laughs> There's more to it, of course, but I find that some lessons are best learned on one's own. It was nice visiting with you. This is supply and demand. It's really just that simple. Master that. Success will follow. Just once I wish Sarah would stop complaining about... Out there a lot, right? You must be a tour. Make your way. Okay. Hello. Ethan handles all. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow. Yes, but now I feel guilty for being relieved. Ugh. Why must this all be so complicated? Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Hey, stranger. Mark my word. This bar may be tougher than you can handle. Are you surprised or disappointed? It's my name on the outside, isn't it? Been here too damn long to let someone else come in and muck it up. Hell, even finding decent help isn't worth the trouble half the time. 
Ethan's got half a brain in his head, seems like, so maybe he'll work out. More and more as time goes on, plenty of folks looking to get out from under the thumb of the UC, or taking their first steps to being independent. City's been slow to keep up with all the new people. It took them forever to put up the outer walls, and at this rate, they'll need to expand again soon. No fancy stuff and no special orders. I ain't got the patience for it. Hey. Might not be the biggest selection in town, but our liquor gets the job done as well as any. I can guarantee you that. If you need something to ease the pain, I can set you up. Yeah, something I got back when I was an irresponsible kid. There's a lot of things I'd probably do differently if I had a second chance. But hey. That which doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? Okay. I'm not asking for handouts. What? But if you got right, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh my god. What What's going on? <laughs> you <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Go easy on Coma, okay? Everyone mocks him because he's usually spaced out. But I think deep inside, he's in a lot of pain. I am one of those who needs a lot of money or possessions to feel good about my life. Kind of. He crashes at my place. But man, he could stay too long. I kind of want to tell him enough is enough. But I don't need that drama in my life right now. Great, I guess. Coma's riding high. As in on drugs. I was trying to put it politely. I mean, I get it. We're in the slums. It's not the first time I've seen that. But with him, it's pretty much every minute he isn't working in the fields. His whole life is just work. Get high and sleep. Tried it already. He won't talk about it. In fact, it just makes him hit the stuff that much harder. The best I can hope for now is that he'll find some way to pull himself out of it. Guess that's just life in the slums. You either survive it or you don't. Keep on keeping on. Oh. husband and I. Doing the right thing is tougher than doing the easy thing, but it always works out better in the end. I've seen people do bad things for me. Even some friends. That Mr. always King. comes to. Amira, how are you doing? I can't complain. Uh, someone said some of the Philburn crops got a little damaged? Yeah, the Thresher's programming had a glitch and it tore right through a couple of fields. The crops? I'll save you the trouble. Weston's already approved me sending it to you. It won't be pretty, but perfectly edible. Much appreciated, Mr. King. You want to do some good for the city? Let me know. I'll take all the help I can. The low house can only help the... This me. whole of the settled systems and you won't find an attraction to rival my alien extravaganza. Welcome, welcome! Let me ask you a simple question, friend. 
Are you prepared to see something so wondrous and strange that you're sure never to forget it? With pleasure. We got animals from the deepest, darkest corners of the settled systems. What you'll see will delight and amaze. Just a modest fee, and you can feast your eyes. I envy you, truly, for this opportunity. Step right through this door and take as long as you like perusing the menagerie. Oh, and uh, please don't attempt to feed the creatures. In fact, it's best if you don't touch them, either. Honest Earl, that's what folks call me. You know, though you may be leaving, but the memories you make here will last a lifetime. In Enterprise and mine, absolutely. There's a reason folks around here call me Honest Earl. <laughs> Tell your friends about us. Who knows what? <laughs> if that's your attitude, then please remove yourself from the premises and make way for the other customers. Sidonia looking for a better life, only to end up like this. It just ain't fair. Thank God. I, I thought... I thought the Shaw Gang was going to kill all the hostages in the bank. You were amazing. Thank you. We wouldn't have made it without you. Listen, I, I have nothing. Less than nothing. My family moved here from Sidonia, hoping for a better life. Sometimes I just feel cursed. And I... I could live with that if it was just me. But Simone? And little Liv? <sighs> so many people here look past my family being UC and are just... like that. Kind. A real sense of community. I just need a job and we could be happy here. Sorry, I... Uh, you should feel good, super good, about what you did at Galbank. You want to talk about anything? That's all you can do. Even after all this time, we're still living hand to mouth. Nothing ever changes, no matter how hard I try. Got tired of living under the boot. The UC always tells you what to do and how to do it. If you're down, they want to keep you there. I thought maybe hard work and patience would lead to better things. But it became clear that that was never going to happen. The only way out was to leave the UC behind. So I brought the family here. Things aren't much better. But at least I don't have the piglets breathing down my neck anymore. <sighs> Moving out here cost a lot. Now we're barely getting by. It's impossible to save up anything so Liv can have a future. Truth is, I was a fool to think anything would change. Now Simone and I barely talk and live. <laughs> That's even worse. You know what the worst thing for a parent is? To look into your child's eyes and see pity. That's how you know you've hit a rock bottom. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house... I mean, there's something. But it's a hell of a thing to ask. Remember? You asked. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin, Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. 
But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena's family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. Uh, she clams up the times I've asked. Not even Simone knows. I'm sure she's run afoul of the law somehow. That's kind of how she operates. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. I hope Milena can help us out. Good luck to you. doesn't get the juices flowing. You're doing it wrong. Ah, it's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Uh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. I swear, every time I come through here, something goes to shit. But it always calls me back. Take now. I'm just supposed to be doing some deliveries and whammo! Pirates! Cheyenne's going to get me one of these days. No, not one bit. I enjoy surviving fighting pirates. Big difference. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Simone should have told me. Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Ass Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor, and he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. We had some words, maybe one fat lip, not mine, and now I'm persona non grata. Well, two paths I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work, fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the pew pew out there. Marco doesn't deserve you. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Give Elias a kiss if you see him. God, I hate him.
Esther are sometimes spotted by the bar. I hope Aquila is treating you nicely. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would you want to let her back here? What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But, legally, if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. I'd like to think that, but... I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. You might be right. I'll be the judge of that. I just think it's a bad idea. If you pay her bounty, legally I can't stop you. You'd go that far for her? Fine. Fine. She can come back. I just hope you don't regret it. I did, last time I trusted her. Has got to have a wonderful visit. Every time I feel queasy asking for help, I remember Liv. It's all for her. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. My problem with her hasn't been whether she's good company, but I'll try. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Milena's been nice, friendly. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> <laughs> 